me start by introducing a new character in our journey. This character, his name, he's an angel. His name is Israfil. Israfil is the angel in charge of blowing into the trumpet. Blowing into the horn. And he's the angel, the custodian of the Lawh al Mahfur, the supreme tablet of destiny. In the tradition, it said that Sayyidina Israfil salam, is in a perpetual state of buqa, a perpetual state of crying. And he, he understands what's about to take place. And he's the custodian of the, of the tablet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then the Prophet sallam, has said, due to the height, the size of Israfil, that the tears of Israfil don't reach earth. And were they to reach earth, then we'd experience the tawfan of Nuh, the flooding of Sayyidina Nuh alayhi salam. We'd experience it in each and every single moment. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, during the journey of Isra and Mi'raj, the ascension journey, he saw this angel. And let me show you how he saw him. He saw him, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam describes, he said, he had one foot in front of the other. He had the trumpet on his lips. He took a deep breath, so he's just about to blow into it, and he's looking from the corner of his eye towards Allah, ready for the signal to blow. 1400 years ago, Israfil was standing like this. When the Prophet ﷺ came down from this journey and was very active in, in, in salah and in acts of worship, and his wife was telling him to, to, to take it easy, he said, how can I take it easy when Israfil, when the angel in charge of the trumpet has his lips on the trumpet ready to blow? There's no time. There's no time. 